Does this ratchet make my hand look big? I think it does. Hey, what's up YouTube, Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. Just picked up these two new ratchets from Koken Tools. These are the 72 Tooth Z Series 3H drive in a quarter inch body. Really nice and small ratchet. This is the shorter version that's non-flex head and this is the 160 millimeter flex head. And these both are the button or quick release. This is the 2725ZB 3.8s. This longer one, this is the 2726ZB 3.8s 160 millimeter version. Let's Let's take these uh, little tags off and take a look. Whether you can see a little bit better the size, let's just grab this one here and compare it to the other Koken ratchet that I've been using. This one here is the 3726ZB, and this is your standard 3H drive in size. So there's the difference right there. The length on this shorter one in inches is right about four and a half. The length on this one, 160 millimeters, right about six and a quarter inches. One of the things that I was interested in is the overall depth compared to a standard here. You know, the Koken ratchets do have a fairly small or narrow head size compared to some other brands, but of course this one is gonna be much smaller. I just wanted to measure the outside of the anvil to the button. Right there, we're at 26 millimeters on this one here. And on the new one that I just got, right there, 22.4 millimeters. Just hold it up there so you can see. That's gonna make a big difference, you know, when you're working on something. So let's just grab one of these lower profile Coke and sockets. So there we are, overall depth on this with a socket, 31.4. That is really, really small. So that's gonna allow you to get into a lot of small spaces. I can already tell you, I love the feel of that. That is very, very low back drag, very, very smooth. I mean, look at that, silky smooth. The little lever to change direction doesn't stick off very far at all. Really like the quick release on these. I bought this first one as a non-quick release and it's fine, I do use it, but I still prefer having the quick release button just because I'm usually working on some pretty greasy stuff. Let's try this longer one here as well. Again, silky smooth. The flex head on this one, of course, is gonna allow you, you know, you can use this as a little bit of a speed ratchet like that off to the side, or it's gonna let you get into some of the awkward spaces that a flex head ratchet does, but really nice and small profile here. Now I've also been using these here. These are the Koken nut grips. And I really love the fact that those will hold on to a nut or a bolt and you can get into a really awkward space with something like this, undo it and the nut or bolt will stay in or it will stay on while you're trying to line it up and put it on. So these are invaluable really, the, the nut grips or something. If you don't have these, I'd recommend you pick these up, but I really like this smaller profile. Now I showed some other 3H drive ratchets in quarter inch body in a previous video and here they are right here. This one here is the Astro Tools. It's advertised as a 3H drive drive in a quarter inch body, but you can see it wasn't really what I was expecting. It's about the same size as a typical 3H drive ratchet for me. And then I also took a look at this Duralast, which is a good little ratchet. And I like the idea again of the 3H drive in the quarter inch body. And then also this one from this Japanese company called Tone. Really like this and I've been using this one probably the most. I even was using this Tone ratchet with these nut grips and then I thought, you know, I should probably pick up a Koken ratchet. Now, of course, you don't need a Koken ratchet to use Koken sockets, but I really like this one here. I've been using this one so much. It's almost my daily use ratchet and it's so smooth that I figured, you know, if this smaller version is as smooth, then I would probably prefer that over this Tone brand. I like the small length on this compared to, for example, the Tone because sometimes there are areas that are so tight you'd still be able to swing this around or have enough space to get the room that you need to turn that. I can already tell this thing is super smooth. The Tone just not not quite there. Still a good ratchet and I do like it. I really like the way this is already feeling in my hand and I'm sure that I'll be using this quite a bit. Now one more thing just to point out on the flex head just like the other larger 3 8 drive flex head is there's just one little detent right here because there's a little ball that will catch in the straight position. Everything else just kind of moves but it's not sloppy. You can see that that does hold the position pretty well. It's pretty firm even in the straight that's not going to move on you on accident. So I do really like the feel and the quality again on these Koken ratchets is just, I mean, it's very, very high and I'm really happy with these. Like I mentioned, the Koken ratchet here is pretty much the daily use or one of the ratchets that I grab almost every day. Now, of course, I do use a lot of battery powered stuff when working on cars and using a lot of Milwaukee ratchets, but it's really nice. You're always going to need to have a ratchet and, you know, when it feels this nice, you might as well treat yourself and get something nice like this. Treat yourself. 
Now, Koken is a Japanese company. You can see here on the tag that says right there, made in Japan, and there's some Japanese characters on there. I don't speak Japanese, but uh, it does say made in Japan right here underneath and made in Japan right here as well. And I've been very impressed with the quality of these Koken tools. Now, this particular video is not a sponsored video, but Koken USA is one of the companies that I did meet at the SEMA show in Vegas last year, and they've been great to work with. And they have sent me some very nice tools, and I have shown those in some other videos as well. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'm going to make sure to get a link in the description where you can pick up these exact same tools direct from the Koken USA website, along with some of these other tools you see here as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.